Hello everybody, this is Bionic Me Studios. Today I have got a car boot sale haul. And I know you might be thinking that this is not how I normally do it, and you would be correct. I thought I would try something different this time, because this is a pretty big one. So, today I have got this bag and these two incomplete sets but look pretty cool got an, oh, surge. Got like an incomplete surge and iron man if surge would stand up and then we got this and if you're wondering there is not there is not food in here there is not i've said that and surge looks sad stop looking sad so yeah there is no food in there. I'll start off with the smaller bits. So these two, they are an incomplete surge from breakout. Breakout? No, brain attack. Because the weird shaped head. So yeah, he's got what was it? Snow beast? Snow beast hand? He's got his jet like his lightning thing is now spinny thing with one of the wing slash shield pieces as well the sword it's actually not a bad design i may actually take that but yeah other than that he's pretty much complete he's not got his jetpack or his weapon he's also lost a hand so i'm guessing that's why they gave him that hand so yeah incomplete surge but i uh, just realized he's got white feet instead of blue or silver so yeah surge he can now go off to the sides his friend that I also got was Iron Man. Now then, the reason I got this guy in particular was his chest plate. I had this set when it first came out. I was young and used to play with him a lot, but it wasn't until recently my version of, well, my chest plate actually broke. The pins that hold him in place actually, one of them sheared off, and then second one soon after. He also has this jabby weapon from one of those like quasar spikes i think they were also used as black phantoms like side spikes i think it's been a while since hero factory and all that 2014 still pretty old i guess but yeah for some reason i think that these two if they were to fight he would just kind of just run up to him and just jab him sideways or he's facing that way so it just so he doesn't have to look at the pain he's enduring to the other person. But that is those two. They may stay as they are. They may go into the parts bins. And also Rip Iron Man. And he will be resting in peace very soon. And yes, that was meant to be a dark joke. And I do apologise. Starting with... Well, starting with the big bag. The medium sized bag. Pouring out we have a Roxy leg. Well, red one, but yeah, rocks your leg. We've got two Vizrak legs. Mata blue is a great colour. I wish I had more of these sort of bones, but I think the only other time they actually made like this sort of limb in this colour was actually um, Kadunga or Kadunga from 2007. Moving along, we have Stormer. He has seen some better days. Unfortunately, his mask did break. I think that happened with quite a few of the breakout helmets, actually. But yeah, he's got his core. He's got these. It's great. And also, he can kind of do that. Looks weird, but... We have... Okay, it's not we know there's one of the beasts from Savage Planet. I forgot what it's called. Or what did I even know if I knew the name in the first place, but I'll probably just show you the leg and be like Scorpion leg. So you hear Scorpion leg, it's one of these, but with a spiky bit. Moving along we have another bit of Stormer actually. If you're wondering how I know, I know because that is actually part of his torso build. Um oh. As I was getting things ready, the clip bits have fallen onto the floor, so let me just grab those. I'm not at the camera. Okay, bits were fallen on the floor. Roxy. 
with a dirty bone so I shall fix that and I shall clean that that sounded weird but needs cleaning blue Roxy head can never get enough of those so yeah Roxy on toe leg we have stringer's helmet from either the first range of hero factory or breakout sad how they forgot about them near the end but what are you gonna do igniker blasty thing on proca blasty thing so blasty thing Borok crown holder thing that also looks like a plate. You could use that as a plate and something, I guess. And there's also web from a Spider-Man, I think. If not Spider-Man, this is from Let Me Know, because I have no idea, because I do not collect Marvel that much. Except for this dude. Um, here we have a chain. I like these chains. They're cool. Stormer's little drone buddy thing. Still can't believe they actually gave them guns, especially on that. But yeah, could be used as like a devastator piece, I guess. And um, we have a Stronius shoulder slash chest piece. I actually got one of him. Oh, I think I actually forgot the poster, but. Um, where I am at the minute, there's one on a Wednesday as well, and I got a Stronius then, so I've now got four of these with me, which is good. We have some CCBS pieces. No Scorpion parts just yet, but we may be getting there soon, who knows? Okay, I see two masks. Let's grab one of. Oh, no, also grabbed another one of Storm's little friends, little drone. So that's what's good to have more of those. Um, Taraga, um, I can't actually think of his name, name, Taraga Matau, Taraga Matau, his mask, Wait, and they for some reason gave him a nose, but I'm guessing they were meant to be techno-organic, like in Trance was animated with Arachnid. Okay, this caught my eye straight away when I saw the bag, it is a translucent green cow cow, it's basically um Garley's mask but in green. Um I did actually have there's um there's a reason why I thought it was pretty cool. There's two little bumps on the bit there. That's not meant to be there. What do I have one sec, let me see if I can I don't actually have a normal Garley mask to hand, that's really annoying. I might have accidentally stuck it in the bag, so if I find that I'll show you the difference, but there are two little bumps there. They are not meant to be there, so this is probably a factory misprint. Imagine that, factory misprint in a bag for a pound. What are the, what are the odds of that? So yeah, this, amazing. And also, shiny. But yeah, fourth one of these, well not in this color, but for Garly. I've got three of her collectible ones, this, the gold and the silver. God help me if I could find the silver and the gold one though. Okay, move along in the bag. Let's see, we have Roxy body piece. It's good, got a couple of pins in there. We have some armor piece. We have this. I'm not sure who this came on or what sets it did, but it came on some. We also have this is from the Savage Planet Beasts. His name escaped me. He was a bear, I believe. Stringer. I think this is from Stringer. He had like yellow claws. Not normal, not normal yellow. Like warm yellow. So it was weird. Okay. In Igniker Blast piece. I thought that was two of those. We have a Brutaka blade, but in black. So that is from Rota. The first Hero Factory one. The first Hero Factory villains, actually. They should have brought him back for Breakout. But they didn't. We have got a dirty, very, very dirty Toropol Hatu Nuva leg and a creek, not creaker, creaker. Just to let you know, Cracker is this dude from Chima. Creaker is a Makuta from 2008. If you just search up Bionicle Makuta 2008, he's the he's the white one with the 
almost looks like blood, but it's not. It's like internal organs or something. I don't know. But yeah, got Kalma from 2007. Got these little clamps, but they got the rounded edges. Not my favourite. But always happy to have more of his armour. Love his armour pieces. And I do apologise about any noise you may hear. I'm actually just going to shut the door quickly. Apologies. That may help with the noise, but yeah. Got to say, apologies, I am on holiday. That's how I got this amazing find. Don't normally find this eye. But yeah, moving along. I forgot to put it off the side, but yeah. Dirty bone, that can go over there. We have a claw from Mantax from 2007. I've had so many, I think I've had like four or five man taxes actually, so I've got quite a few of these. But can never get enough. We have this. Now this is a scorpion piece. If you're wondering how I know, it's because this only came on that set, I believe. I could be very much wrong. If you know if that came on more than one, one set, let me know. We have a white tunnel matter foot. Very useful. Part of CCVS, probably from the Scorpion, not sure where. We have a Toa Liwa leg. Well, Nuva. Toa Liwa Nuva leg. Nice lime green piece. Can't get enough lime green pieces. We have a Stronius leg. So we have Stronius leg and Stronius's armour. Bit wherever you, wherever you want to put it on. It could be put his leg on. I imagine that was a Glatorian. They should have done that. But yeah. Leg. We have a Leedrock leg, I believe. From 2002, I believe. I do actually think there's a couple more in here, so that should be pretty good. So yeah, a Leedrock leg. I'm just going to pre warn you now. I do not remember the names of any of the Borok, let alone the Rock. Like, the Red Rock she. Sort of. We saw his leg, I believe, and now we have a part of his body. Honestly, these connectors in red I need to get more of after making the first version of my self mock again. He uses four of them, and yes, he does have a portal gun from Portal. If I haven't put up the video for him yet, I'll put that out later. But yeah, him and my new self mock Alistair, who is the one with the horns and the free print mask, which has the horns. That's where most of those went. Very annoying, but mm, what are you going to do when it looks cool? Okay, I see a scorpion leg, as I said, with a spike. And if you're wondering how I know that's, I think this is like the only set that actually came with these in this colour, so. Scorpion leg. We have Hero Factory bone piece with a savage planet bit, I believe. I'm not sure, but correct me if I'm wrong. We have a Borok leg, saying that actually, hold up. We have that the very Borok we can reunite to his leg. He has no arms, he has no eyes. He has no brain hold of it, so he looks like this. He almost looks like a duck. Oh, there you go. Go like that. There you go. Flip it up. There you go. He can... sit over there. So we have a mixture of a breakout invasion from below beast I believe. When I say that I mean a breakout mixed with an invasion from below that kind of got a bit blurred then so I do apologize. No idea which characters the parts came from but I do think I had the base of that before so that's actually pretty cool. Moving on we have a Tarok, I think. Yeah, this is how it was in the bag. He looks like a duck. I look like he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna eat. He's gonna just try and eat the toe instead. Like he does actually have an eye, but he, he needs a bit of help. Like, eh, like his brain's exposed if he had one. Yeah, who knows? Could be a funny little side character just waddles around, or. I may cannibalise him to fix up one of the other ones. Well, the other one. We have Chest Blip, Hero Factory, with a spike. Sh 
sharp spike. We have foot and a leg with a little pin piece. Not much interesting there. We have a Vaki arm piece from the brown one, not the red one. Oh, well, obviously it's from the brown one, but yeah, I don't know. We have Rakshi leg from one of them, I do not know. We have scorpion foot. This scorpion has been mangled to absolutely nothing at this point, but scorpion foot. We have Cracker's Blade. It is broken, but I could still use that for something. Because if you don't know, I occasionally take parts and I modify them. So I could take a pin and just modify it on there. Or make it a hat. I'll have to see what I do with that. Let's see. CCBS Bones. Not sure what they go to, but they're there. Roxy Head. Always could have more of those. Two red Talamata feet. Always good to have those. Stormer XL's body. Actually, hold on, let me see. Oh, here's Stormer. Well, the important remains of Stormer. There you go. There's his shoulders. Now then, where is he at? I shall fix him up quickly. And. Not the camera again. There you go. Dorma has his shoulders. He looks ridiculous. <laughs> he actually looks ridiculous like that. But there you go. Sort of complete Dorma. Uh, there we go. But, yeah. Probably oh, <laughs> drop them off. That's not meant to be in there. I accidentally put that in there. Mistake. That was meant to be there so I could show you the comparison of that and the blue version where's the blue there is. No, the green version, there you go. So yeah, you can kind of see where there's like differences on the mask. Put the focus. There you go, you can see it. A bit more raised. So yeah, pretty sure that's a factory misprint. It's good. Well, it's not good, but it's rare. Scorpion. Just absolutely mutilated, gone, but probably still useful for something. So, who knows? We have a pretty much complete Borok. Okay, fixed. And the best bit is his head. He lunges. If I get him to do it, there you go. And actually has an intact rubber band from what 2002. I know his legs are on definitely not the right way, but could cannibalize that one and fix them. So, two red borok. Let's see, we have, I'm guessing, part from the scorpion? Not sure. But yeah, boss CCBS. We have the remains of the Parok that became Vizon. That got, well, that got split to become Vizon. Vizon? I think, I actually don't know, if you know, you know, let me know, I don't know. But I've had the set before, so it's cool. Green rock she foot, it's cool. Could use it as a ship, I guess. Not much to say on some of these parts, they're just... I do apologise for knocking the camera so much, but who knows, that could be a staple of the series. We've got Technic connected to a connector, connected to a bone. Something that will be torn apart for the parts. Some of these things, I'm not, not sure what they came from like that. I do know what that's from. That's from the Crystal Beast from Invasion from Below. I'm actually just going to fix that. Apologies. So yeah. I was going to have more of these spiky bits. Before I get rid of that, there's another Rakshi piece. Shell piece. Another shell piece. A foot with a pin. Another foot, a Borok leg, some Hero Factory claw, some Technic piece, one of those Hero Factory breakout cuff pieces, Scorpion leg, yeah, just normal Scorpion leg, a Frobot, no, ro yeah, Frobot leg hand thing, I think, 
Then we also have this weird thing. If you know what this is from, let me know. We got, which is definitely knockoff Lego, so that can just straightly go over there. We have Tahu's hand. We have a connector. So there. That is pretty much the entire first bag, but there is these things. Let's see. Oh, no one the spikes. Okay. What's Okay, I'm not sure what this is. Yeah, I have no idea what this is from. But if you know what this could have been from, or what little comic it was from, let me know, because I do not know. Because I know they use this artwork on the collectible masks. But yeah, actually not sure what that's from. Now this seems to be one of the little bionicle comics seems to be when the toa becomes a toa nuva but i know this is meant to be a picture novel, but oh nuva there it's got a lot better looking mask than normal which is weird no thought i'd actually say that so that was the entire first bag so i think the coolest things that are in there are obviously the green garly mask, which I'm pretty sure is a factory misprint. Well, it's not a misprint misprint, but you should not let's move the camera down so you can just see the parts individually. There you go. There it's green cow cow. We have pretty much all of all three Borok, because you can never get enough Boroks. And from the bag alone, let's see. Oh, it is. There you go. Stronius, R piece, sword, and Kalma's torso. Those are the coolest things I've. Oh, and including whatever those are from. But yeah, those are the coolest things I have found from the first bag. I will do a part two, which will be either be up today or tomorrow on, actually let's just move, oh, follow the mask around again, go to move the camera up, on this bag, and again, there is no actual food, Lego, so I will see you in part two, whenever that may be.